Hey, this is Ryan with Rough Stuff Specialties. In this video, we're gonna go over our do-it-yourself Y-Link steering kit. Um, included in this kit, you're gonna get uh, two pieces of inch and a half quarter wall DOM tubing. Um, you're gonna get your uh, Weldon bungs for your left hand and right hand thread. Uh, you'll notice the left hand thread, they're gonna have some notches in the corners to, uh, so you know that's a reverse thread. And then you're gonna have your one ton tie rod ends. Um, depending on what you order, you can get an under the knuckle or over the knuckle. The only difference between those two kits is going to be the way this tie rod in is reamed. Um, so if you're mounting it under the knuckle, you'll have the large end of the taper going this way. The over the knuckle, uh, the large end of the taper is going to start on this side. So then that way your drag link is still on the front. Um, with this kit, um, you get the 7 8 diameter uh, shank on the uh, GM one ton rod ends. Uh, they also have the GM one ton taper on them. And yeah, with this kit, you want to uh, Make sure you measure before you start cutting. Um, be prepared to make bends. Sometimes you have uh, differential covers or some brackets on the front of that axle um, that you need to get around. Turn your steering wheel to full lock to uh, pull that tie rod in as close as you can to see where the stops are. Um, and that way you don't end up uh, losing full steer on your uh, kit once it's all said and done. So with this kit, you'll get uh, two standard tie rod ends. They're gonna be the short ones. Uh, your left hand thread, generally we put that on the uh, Y-Link tie rod end on the passenger side knuckle. And then both your right hand threads are going to be on the driver's side. Um, the longer one, uh, this is your high angle that goes on your pitman arm. Um, and then your other right hand thread, that's going to be your standard. Um, that'll go on the driver's side knuckle. And then uh, for getting this to work with your axle, um, you can either use our uh, GM one ton reamer. Um, or you also have the option of going with our knuckle inserts. Uh, with those inserts, you just use a 7 8 inch drill bit, drill those knuckles out, and then drop the insert in. Um, on your Pitman arm, that takes a slightly different insert because the uh, taper on this tie rod end is going to be a little bit deeper. Um, so for that insert, in order to get that to work, you'll drill, drill your Pitman arm out to, uh, with a 1 inch drill bit. Um, you'll want to weld that insert into place. It's not a split insert like you would like we have on the uh, the knuckles where once you tighten everything down it kind of locks itself in. So 7 8 drill bit on the knuckles with the inserts and then uh, one inch on the pitman arm and then weld that one into place. On this kit it's uh, yeah inch and a half quarter wall tubing so substantially stronger than the stock stuff uh, most people are running on their rigs um, when they get it from the factory. It's a uh, variety of uses. I've seen people install them on all sorts of axles. I've seen them run on Toyotas, uh, Dana 44, Dana 30s. Um, Dana 60s really depends on your setup. Um, with a Y-Link kit, generally you run that one um, rather than a crossover. If you just have one mounting location on your knuckles, you don't have that extra uh, mount to do a crossover. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notifications, like this video, and comment if you have any questions. If you want to see other awesome videos, check out these.